Okay. When you're making display cases or little display stands, let's say you have a regular cake plate of your own at home and you're not using it for anything, first off, I think it's better if you're going to have something like that. I made myself an artificial cake. These are just two rounds of styrofoam glued together, coated with white spackle, and then mixed with a little bit of Elmer's glue to make sure it would stand up. You could even, if you wanted to, decorate the top of it a little bit just so it looks pretty. So you put that in there with a doily, and now you're displaying your cake plate, and it looks like you've got something there. And it also looks like you've been baking all the time, which isn't too bad. The other thing that you can do with these, which is really becoming the end thing, and you see it in a lot of magazines, is they keep putting everything under glass. Anything under glass looks like it is more important. So here I have a small branch. I've just attached some silk ivy to it, a little bird. I've got a nest that I've feathered with some uh, grass seed. So here's the other bird, a small baby bird. This is just a little sprig of flowers that comes like this. I think they use them on uh, candles for centerpieces or whatever. And so you just wrap all that around. Make yourself a little grouping, however you want to do that. And then carefully, and this is the hardest part of the whole thing, put a dome over the top. You're going to have to come play with it a little bit to get the flowers in there just the way you want. And maybe with a flat object, move them inside the dome a little bit better. But then you come up with something that's got a little display stand. It looks really pretty sitting on a coffee table or in the kitchen. Or if you've got a cottage style house, this looks really, really cute. So it works out pretty well that way. When I go to thrift stores, there are several things that I look for all the time. First off is these domes. Uh, a dome like this, this one happened to be a little bit bigger. I paid $2 for it at a rumor sale. I paid a dollar for the cake plate at a garage sale. So for um, most of, that, of the interior stuff I had, but for just a few dollars, let's say $10 altogether, I've got a, a pretty nice looking little arrangement. If you go to the thrift shops, I hardly have ever been to a thrift shop where I couldn't get. These are the domes that go on top of the wooden cheese, bowl, uh, cheese boards. You've seen them all over the place. It sits on top of a wooden board. And once the boards get lost or warped or broken, you don't know what to do with it. I probably have about nine of these around my workshop now because anything that you put under glass just makes it look a little bit more special. You take something like this put a dome on top and whatever you put underneath it just makes it look that much better. Another thing that I look for when I go to thrift shops all the time are sets of candlesticks. Now sometimes these things come in groups of three and they're graduated sizes. These are a little too big I personally think for making display things for because if you try to put something on here the height gets to be a little large. It comes out looking something like this. And if you try to cut something on it, you're at a funny angle. And if you just put cookies or whatever on it, it works out fine. But if I have a big cake plate or display plate, a smaller one, and then two of these behind it with candles, I've got a really, really nice setting for some sort of holiday or for whatever I'm displaying for a fancy dinner. So there are a couple of things that I look for when I go to thrift shops, a couple of things I always try to pick up. Normally, you can get these sometimes for one or two dollars a set. Um, they're almost always, you can always find matches for them, even if, if you're concerned about a matching, but uh, 99 cents, sometimes you can find the plates for 65 cents or a dollar. None of those should be too elaborate, unless you want to get carried away and you find something you really, really love. So those are some of the things that you can do with these. And blah, 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 blah.